Today I'd like to type for you a Parasol Caddis Pupa. My Parasol is going to be 4X Tippet. And I'm just taking poly yarn. You can use whatever color you want, really. I have this yellowish. And just cut off a snip and tie it on there. I just use a cinch knot. And I'm going to, it's still attached to the spool. I'm going to take it, I'm going to cut it down. And there we have the parasol. Now I'm going to take it, this will determine how deep it goes in the water. You can make it as long as you'd like. You can make it an inch, two inches, three inches. But I'm going to cut off about six inches right now. I like to I like to fish them three or four inches down. So I got about three inches there. I'm going to tie this onto my hook, and then I'm going to tie the fly. Okay, the hook I have in a vise is an eagle claw size 16. This is a scud type hook. The thread I'm going to use is black 14 ot. And I'm going to attach the thread. Then I'm going to put down a base of thread. And take it slightly around the bend. And bring it up. Oop. And remove that. I'm going to take my parasol. And like I said, you determine the length of the parasol. Whether you want an inch, two, three, or six inches. And I like to, I want want it to be about three inches. So I'm going to maybe two. I'm going to tie it on. Wind back. I have some in my fingers still. And then I'm going to fold that back over and tie that down. <laughs> and remove the excess. Now I'm going to go and uh, tie my caddis pupa like I normally would. When the trout start to get really picky about what stage they're taking, that's when it's good to use this fly. You would just put your floating on there and the rest will go down. I'm going to wax my thread. And I'm going to start the body with some rabbit with some Hairtron dubbing, and this is olive. This is a light olive. Seem to have a lot of olives around my area in my river, so that's why I always use olive as a demonstration. But you can make the body whatever color you'd like. And you want this to be scraggly. That's a little bit too much. Pull that off. Now I'm going to take wood duck flank and I'm just going to take a few of those barbels and we're going to lay these in to go back over the fly. And 
and remove that excess. For the wing of my caddis, I have a single strand of Swiss straw. And I'm going to tie that in. And you want that to be aiming down. I'm going to take it and trim it off at an angle there. Yeah, now for this side. I'm going to leave it on there pretty long so I have a big piece over here that I can trim easily. And cut that off. Picked up my parasol. And I wrapped it back on the head. And I got to trim this piece. Now for the hackle. I have a grouse feather here. I'm going to tie that in by the tip. This is a speckled grouse feather. And I'm going to give that just like one time around. Give that a once around and tie that off. Take my whip finisher Give it a drop of head cement. <clears throat> and here we have a parasol caddis pupa. Hope that you learned something from this video. Hope that you would subscribe to my channel. Please let your friends know about my channel. Leave comments, questions, suggestions, and most of all, I thank you very much for watching my videos.